of my house for some chickens and I would just go in there and breed a bunch and kill a bunch and get on with life. Uh, one moment. We are echoing. There we go. So then um, I learned about an egg, co an automatic egg collecting system and built it. That's this under here. It goes in a pattern underneath where the chickens are above. It actually covers pretty much all of the area. And every time that the minecart passes over this hopper, it, this hopper, it dumps its load of eggs into this chest here. Then that chest dumps into another hopper, you can see in here, into a chest that is accessible from the basement. So now let's go down to the basement. I also want to make note We've got um, a daylight sensor under glass here and a glass skylight all the way up. That's uh, for later when I show you where the automatic chicken hatching and cooking system that I just finished. So that allowed me to collect eggs. So for the longest time that was my system. I'd come up here and I'd break a bunch of eggs and make some more chickens and then I would kill some and then I'd put them in an oven. And I'd get the eggs from here, which as you can see is empty now, as is this item hopper that comes from it. That item hopper feeds into, hang on, this is a dispenser full of lot with a bucket of lava, and then behind this there is another dispenser full of eggs. That's where the item hopper goes, so that as the eggs are thrown out by the dispenser onto the slab, these chickens are hatched. And as soon as these chickens get big enough to fall into the lava, they will get killed and cooked. So these daylight sensors, one is on and one is off, so they're, they oppose each other as they go off. And they activate this redstone, which then act there like that, see? You get a few flashes of lava, and then the lava's over. So any gr chickens that manage to grow up full grown will get killed in the lava and deposited into this chest by that hopper there. So there's a hopper with a slab on which the chickens are standing. And uh, as long as they're baby chicks, they're, they survive the lava. Well, it sounds like they get a little bit of damage dealt. But as soon as they get big enough, they will catch fire, burn, die, and fall into the hopper, and then into the chest. Oh, and you get to listen to this horrendous noise continuously. So you can't see that dispenser. It's the one that fires out the chicken. That's probably the actual noise. So as each egg is laying upstairs, it makes its way down and becomes one of these where it will hatch. I think one in five eggs actually hatch. We're still waiting for these chickens to grow up. That's going to take a while. <laughs> oh dear. You really have to bring out the sadist in you for this game. Okay folks, that's it. I'm still tearing down the Woodland Mansion. But I took a break. I came home. It takes about 40 minutes on a fast horse. So I can't, and, and it's from that direction there. You can see the causeway goes off that way. Way that way, about 40 minutes by fast horse. 40, 40 human minutes. Um, in game, it's uh, about 36 hours, I'd say. And uh, 36 hours later, you get to the Woodland Mansion, where I have been gradually piling up goodies. <coughs> All of the um, treasures that I had found have been brought home. I now have two totems of undying. So that's pretty nice. Got my enchanting table here. And I can't run this until I turn on monsters and kill some blaze. I have not finished the map, if you can believe it. It continues um, probably that f another three or four maps to go. 
It's one of those eventually I'll do it things. And I found out today that the cave out beyond out beyond here there's a cave. And if you follow it through all of its winding and twisting labyrinthine ways, it will eventually take you to the castle on the hill. It does actually lead to the castle on the hill. Coming through here, uh, it leads to the lawn behind, but it leads under the fence, and it also leads to the castle on the hill. You have to go through this area here to get there. This is where I came when I wanted the lava for that chicken farm. I came here to get lava. Except that I went in from the uh, wilderness out back, the forest. So, lots of caves. See, there's there. that's the forest entry that I used. And uh, then I headed off in that general direction. And returned by this general direction for some strange reason. Okay, you want to see. I really should have closed those doors behind me. I'm worried that I'll turn on monsters and forget to close a door somewhere and then zombies will invade and make my life terrible while I'm off doing something else nearby. See? There. Out in the backyard. But you can also link up to a, a mine shaft that's in that castle over there. I really love that castle. I'd like to build something else back here too. This forest needs something. Ooh, I could have fallen in there. I don't know what this forest needs, but it needs something right around here just to tie it in with the rest. And uh, the presence of acacia trees helps to indicate to you that I have civilized and tamed this whole forest. But it'd be nice to put something right about here, wouldn't it? Hmm. Feel free to put that down in the comments what you think I ought to put build there. I'm really quite short on ideas. Yes, I was also thinking of expanding the village a little farther. Maybe take it out past, take it out to uh, about here and add a bunch more village houses, village huts. The decision has not been made. It seems to me like there's plenty enough villagers here. I can do plenty and I, I don't anymore. I, I really don't feel like I have the time to harvest for these guys. Because that's pretty much what you have to do. You have to go out and harvest things. So let's go see how the cooked chicken is doing. Now, raw chicken is, some, is, is one of the things you can harvest to sell back to the villagers. But it's only the farmers, that, uh, the farmers and the butcher who buy it, and all they sell you is food. They, they sell you cooked and baked goods, and uh, I don't need those. Still no cooked chicken. Oh, but there's a grown-up. Yes. There's some chickens that are big enough. The next time it goes off, we should see them get toasted. That's worth waiting for. Oh, another one just grew up. Oh, there you go. We've got a few of them that have grown up now. Just waiting for that sensor to go off again. Oh, yeah. Was that it? That's what I got? Huh. Not working as stated. Let's just see here. No, we have no dead chickens. We have no meat. What the devil? They seem to be a little more resistant. Oh, maybe this is the problem. Still didn't work. Pretty sure fire spread is on. They're tough little guys, aren't they? Ah, 
Well, that's disappointing. All right. See you later.